is uh, depends on the index property of your technical engineering okay your technical engineering is the term which deal with the properties of soils index properties of soils methods of finding out the water content bulk bulk density and another factor which is related which is related with the soil samples moisture content in the soil samples okay so now we are proceeding for the property that means index properties in the geotechnical engineering okay so our topic our topic is index properties index properties index properties okay now the index properties of soil is depend upon some major factor the that major factors are specific gravity is the density index density index then water content then particle size distribution Consistency limit. Okay. So specific gravity first. Index property is deal with these terms. That is to be index property. That is specific gravity, in situ density, density index, water content, particle size distribution, and consistency limit. Okay. So these. parts these six parts these six are the properties of the index okay index these are the properties of soil okay all these six are the properties of soil properties of soil okay so specific gravity in situ density density index water content particle size distribution consistency limit are the properties of index property are the properties of soil in the index properties okay now we are proceeding towards the which are the what are the methods which determine the index properties of the soil okay there are certain some methods which uh, can determine the water content methods to determine okay methods to determine the water content in soil we are dealing with the material or we are dealing with the methods for determination of water content in soil okay we are in the index properties okay now which are the method for re, for re, uh, for uh, um, memorize the what are the methods i certain draw a t diagram okay the t diagram is like that whenever the moisture content in the water sample a heat heat factor is very helpful to remove the moisture content okay the first method along the heat is the oven drying method okay oven drying method similar to the oven drying method a 
Stan Bartmaker is also strange. Okay, Stan Bartmaker. Similarly, the alcohol method is helpful to determine. water content of the soil sample and next there are some two methods which are different different that is alcohol that is calcium carbide method calcium carbide method and pycnometer There are some five. There are total five methods to determine with the help of this five method we can determine the water content in soil. Okay. So first is the overdrying method, then alcohol meter, then sand bath method, pycnometer, and calcium carbide method. Okay. So these are the five main important method which with the help of this we can determine the water content in the soil sample. Okay. Now we are proceeding for the methods. Per personally, we can uh, detail tell detail information about the methods which we with the help of that we can determine the water content. So our first method is to be oven drying method. Okay, oven drying. Standard. It is a standard. Like first term, I write here the point wise. Okay. It is a standard laboratory test. Okay. This test can be performed in the la or laboratory. Okay. Due to this, we can determine the water sample, water content. Okay. So how this can work? Simple. I just explain simple way. Consider there is some jar. Okay. Consider there is some jar. Okay. Now this jar is totally empty. Okay. Or consider this is a container. Okay. This container is totally empty. Totally empty. So the weight of the weight. Of the empty container is given by W one, so it is a first equation. Okay, so weight of the empty container is given by W one. Now, I add the wet soil by adding some amount of wet soil in the container. So. R W two is nothing but the weight of container plus which soil? Wet soil. Okay. Now I add dry soil, so I get the third equation that is to be W three equals to weight of container. Plus dry soil. What I have, what will happen here? Here it is a method which can, with the help of this, we can determine the moisture content or water content in the soil sample. Here I consider a container, a blank container, a empty container which is having a weight of W one. Then I add a wet soil in the container which having a weight of W one. So the Both the equations by adding the wet soil, the equation getting or the weight of the container is to be W two, and after all, I add dry soil in in instead of the wet soil in the container, so I get the value of W three. Now, with the help of these both equations, some water content. We what is our purpose to uh, draw this uh, method or investigate about this method? Our method, our implement implementation is only that we have to find the water content. Okay, 
water content okay so this water content that means capital w is given by weight of water to weight of solid sample multiplied by 100 okay this is a formula with this formula we can determine the water content now the weight of water the weight of water is nothing but to be the weight of container with the dry soil sample wet soil sample uh, dry soil sample plus weight of or uh, sorry minus weight of container so it is our weight of water okay so we have get the total weight of water in w3 or and the container weight okay so we get the value of water water uh, weight of water now i wanted to determine the weight of solid sample weight of soil sample so weight of soil sample can be we are we are using soil in wet soil and dry soil dry soil in w2 and w3 so i get minus w2 minus w of 3 okay because of why i have do this because weight of soil sample is having the moisture content and dry soil does, doesn't contain the weight of uh, moisture content so i put this both the value in this equation so equation get likewise w equals to w3 minus w1 divided by w2 minus w3 multiply by 100 Okay, so this is the equation with the help of Owen drying method calculation has been done, and with the help of we can determine the water content. Okay, so this is the Owen drying method. Now we are proceeding for the sand bath method. What is exactly sand bath method? The name, the name of the sand bath method still say is. Sand, uh, sorry, S A N D. Sand bath method. Okay, sand bath method. What happened in this equation? What happened in this method? It is a field method for determining the water content. Water, water, moisture content. It is a rapid and very accurate method. The most important point about this method that is to be it is very accurate method. Okay, it is very accurate method. Now, field method for determination of water is to be water content. Now, here consider a container. Here consider a container. We just have a large opening in it. Okay, so it is consider having large open end. So this vessel is known as the sand bath. Okay, so the name sand bath method that means this sand bath such as a container. Okay, the sand bath says that it is a container. Okay, now sand bath is filled by a five mm of to the at the level of the five mm of mm of the soil sample. Okay. Okay. Sand fill can uh, sand fill up to the five centimeter from the bottom. now this container or this sand bath get heated with the help of the stove this is our stove it is not like that what to be this stove okay so it's getting heated okay then soil takes in a tray then we are getting the heat soil in a a tray like this okay we are taking this soil in the tray now we get the total water content so we are getting the w water content we have we know the formula so the overall the sand bath method calculation can be determined by this formula only water content equals to 
weight of water is the weight of soil sample by the plasma method. So weight of water, weight of weight of water can be determined by this through the calculation and weight of soil sample is this. Okay, so multiply divide both this one and multiply by this. So we shall get a water constant. Now we are proceed proceeding for the next method that is to be alcohol method. What is exactly happening in this alcohol method? There is some container. I just tell about the small parts, parts, parts which can help you in the examination to determine the part. What happened in the alcohol method? What happened in the um, oil drain method? What happened in the sandbar method? Okay. So we are taking a dry soil sample. Okay. We are taking here dry soil sample. since there is a no control on temperature okay so but this method can use for the soil containing large percentage of organic matter or gypsum okay is cannot use for the contain large percentage of organic matter whenever the large percentage of organic matter and gypsum is present the alcohol method cannot be used but after the uh, uh, with the help of dry soil sample and methylated spirit it, uh, by adding the this uh, uh, this chemical it get ignited so at the at the certain position there is a no uh, there is nothing to control this is a uh, to control this temperature so with the help of this we can uh, we can determine the um, the water content up to the 24 hours the 120 degree 160 degree celsius the temperature which is helpful for determination of formation of crack or formation of the re-sedimentation of the soil so with the help of the, the temperature the alcohol method can be determined okay when similarly said the uh, water content equals to weight of water upon weight of soil sample multiplied by 100 this formula is useful for the determination of the alcohol method now we are proceeding to the calcium carbonate method it is very important calcium carbide method can be used in a field as well as laboratory. The instrument is known as a moisture tester. Here the instrument is used. Instrument used known as moisture tester. Tester. Okay. Whenever water reacts with the calcium carbide due to this acetylene gases produces. Okay, in this method, when the this is water, that is means H2O, whenever the water is react with the calcium carbide, H2O2. Okay, whenever the water is react with the calcium carbide, it get produces the acetylene gas. Okay, it get produces the what? Acetylene gas. gases produces at extreme pressure and it get attached in a moisture tester and this gases produces it get attached in the moisture tester okay now 
soil sample is taken in a 6 gram in the test cylinder containing the calcium carbide and soil sample is grounded to the pulverization so we get an value w, uh, w equals to m upon m or 1 minus m okay so we get the value of w equals to m upon uh, 100 minus m multiplied by percentage so with the help of this formula we can determine the calcium carbide method of water content okay So these are the methods for determination of the water content of the moisture by uh, of index propylene. Okay, the water content of the soil sample can be determined by these methods. So thank you.